Hello everyone, welcome to the Theory Music School. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you will notice an icon. Please click on that icon to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also notice that you can visit my website and follow me on Twitter through the links provided below. And please leave comments. All right, this video will focus on the voice leading of the Cadential 6-4. The Cadential 6-4 is the most common of the accented 6-4 sonorities. In fact, many textbooks don't mention any other uses of the accented 6-4 other than the Cadential 6-4. Between the pedal, passing, and Cadential 6-4 sonorities, the Cadential 6-4 is by far the most common. As the name implies, it often occurs at anticipated moments of structural articulation. In other words, it often signals a cadence. Therefore, it is unavoidable and perhaps one of the most important tonal music idioms and well worth your time to commit the voice leading possibilities to memory. In four voice SATB part writing, the bass voice is usually doubled in one of the upper three voices of the cadential 6-4. Unlike the pedal and passing 6-4s, which are usually metrically unaccented, the cadential 6-4 is usually metrically accented. As discussed in one of my prior videos, there are a few different analytical approaches to the Cadential 6-4. The one used at my institution views the Cadential 6-4 as a dominant occurring over a two chord entity, beginning with a 1-6-4 followed by a dominant chord as seen in the example below within the key of F major. A bracket links the two chords with a Roman numeral 5 placed below to indicate the two chords together serve a dominant function. The chordal root of the cadential 6-4 will likely be scale degree 1, in this example, F, and will be in second inversion with the chordal fifth in the bass voice, the C, thus the Roman numeral 1-6-4. The bass note of the cadential 6-4, the chordal fifth, will be doubled in one of the upper three voices, in this example, the C in the tenor voice. Also notice that the cadential 6-4, the 1-6-4, is metrically accented when compared to the 5 chord as the 6-4 occurs on beat 1, which is metrically stronger than beat 3 in the given meter. Remember to anticipate the cadential 6-4 at moments of musical punctuation. Since it often appears as part of a half cadence or an authentic cadence, you can anticipate scale degree 5 as the bass note for both the cadential 6-4 and the chordal root of the dominant. This bass note, scale degree 5, may be repeated in the same register as seen here, or could leap to the octave below when moving to the dominant chord. Now turn your attention to the voice leading, specifically how the voices move from 1-6-4 to the 5, as it illustrates the most common motion from the 6-4 position to the root position 5. The 6th above the bass, the A, moves down by step to a 5th above the bass, to G, while the 4th above the bass, the F, moves down by step to a third above the bass to the E. The addition of a chordal seventh, which is appearing now to the dominant chord, creates no unique issues. It allows the remaining voice to mirror the other upper voices in descending stepwise motion. The eighth above the bass, most commonly referred to as an octave, moves down by step to a seventh above the bass note. All of the examples seen here illustrate possible figured bass examples that would likely signify the use of a cadential 6-4 depending on the surrounding context. The repetition of scale degree 5 in the bass voice is a good indicator that a cadential 6-4 is being incorporated, especially if the context was broadened to decipher a likely cadential moment and perhaps a resolution of that dominant chord to a root position tonic triad. Notice that sometimes the bass tone might re-articulate in the same register, or it could drop to the octave below, and sometimes it may not re-articulate at all as seen in example number three. In minor keys, as seen in examples four and five, you will likely see an accidental for one of the figured bass symbols, indicating to raise the third above the bass voice, which in this context equates to the leading tone. These examples merely touch on the possible visual variants of the Cadential 6-4, as they don't account for different meters and varying harmonic rhythms. But most importantly, notice that the figured bass symbols don't necessarily clearly illustrate the voice leading discussed a moment ago on the previous page. 
In example two, you might be tempted to move the sixth above the base up by step to a seventh above the base based on the numbers that appear on the same horizontal plane, the six and the seven. While this motion is possible, I ask that you avoid this voice leading option in my class and follow the voice leading discussed earlier. Now take a moment to look at the possible solutions to the given figured base examples. Notice that in each of the examples, the sixth above the base, the A, is moving down by step to a fifth above the base, to the G. Also notice that the fourth above the base, the F, is moving down by step to a third above the base, to E. In the examples that make use of the dominant seventh chord, the eighth, or the octave, above the base, is moving down by step to a seventh above the base. It's worth noting that there is more than one way to arrange or voice the upper three voices, but the motion of those voices from the 164 to the dominant should follow the same voice leading principles, regardless of how the upper three voices are arranged or voiced. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.